The kingdom of Voln is dominated by vast stretches of plains that grow thick under a golden sun. The region at times shines with golden hues, the plants glowing with faint amounts of luminous energy and can even zap with golden streaks of lightning. This energy is called the spirit by the locals and is believed to be made up of human souls, considered the purest form of energy in the cosmos. The Vuln believe humanity is the pinnacle of perfection and their souls the purest form of energy. It is why man resisted the great elven spell while the rest fell to its corruption and they believe it is the Vuln spirit that shields human minds against the spell to this day. For this reason, they hate the tribal races, considering them soulless, empty vessels of flesh, and view the dwarves as cowards, hiding in their strongholds, the elves as spineless, hiding in their forests, and the halflings weak, their spirits unable to do what a full man can. Because Voln are humanists, they rarely allow any non-human into their lands, stating weakness shall not be tolerated and fear a soulless will try to absorb Voln's energy for their own gains. Orcs, kobolds, gnolls, and other tribal races are killed on the spot, while elves and dwarves are simply turned away and shunned. The humans of Voln often look near perfect, with golden hair, chiseled features, and toned bodies. The flawless, the cast of elites that rule over Voln, glow with golden light, the spirit of their souls so perfect they manifest into outward glows. Some Vuln can draw on the spirit to generate magic, their souls transforming the world with their pure influence of thought and energy. Some Vuln are so powerful, many outsiders believe the Vuln are the direct descendants of gods. Vander Kell, their king, is perfect in form, his golden aura as bright as the sun, the shine of humanity residing within him. He illuminates the world with his greatness, and he has lived a thousand years, and will live a thousand more, his perfect health having no end. The people worship Vanderkel as a god, and priests of Vanderkel become illuminated in golden light as his aura grants them the ability to cast divine magic. The priests are responsible for inspecting humanity for the weak, inspecting infants for defects, and through ritual and time, trying to perfect them. Rarely is the weak killed or banished, as it would be admitting humanity has flaws, something no Vuln would ever teach. Instead, every effort is made to turn the weak into flawless beings, to show the nations of Earlthed what a human can become with effort, that all humans can be in fact perfect. From birth, all Vuln are tested in feats of strength and knowledge, to train and battle dragons from the mountains, Trials are given seasonally, and before reaching adulthood, all children are brought before the flawless to be inspected. If passing the final tests, they are branded by the Ring of Perfection, a golden ring that seals a golden glow upon the bearer's hand, a symbol of their humanity. The Voln hate filth and dirt, and anything unclean, as even touching filth, could taint their perfect form. Often this comes in the form of phobias, sending them recoiling in fear upon facing rot or grime. The people of Vaughn refuse to touch the blood of non-humans, considering it tainted and will never allow themselves to be helped by a non-human, preferring death over the humiliation of being saved. They build with white brick and marble and line the walls with rods painted gold. It is said to draw in the energy fields and empower their souls further the greatest structures are said to radiate powerful buffing spells that increase strength and intelligence, with some heaved on mammoth war wagons and hauled into war. For more information on aura magic, please refer to the Wizard's Handbook by Callister, the Warning Teacher. <laughs>